These kids are going to be like rats, right? Like they don't know what to do with the money. We're going to talk about billionaires. So you guys are familiar with the Forbes uh, billionaires under 30. Uh, there's uh, this week they did come out with their new billionaire um, um, edition, and they've noted something very interesting. So it's for the first time since 2009, so it's been um, um uh, 15 years right that all of the <laughs> all of the under 30 billionaires they're actually heirs like they just inherited their billions versus uh actually making their own billions what do you think about that oh man it's it's a uh, it, it's funny because um forbes they have um all of these people under 30 30 under 30 and a lot of them have been like a uh, frosters right like uh, you have like Theranos oh, fraud. yeah <laughs> you you have Theranos you have like the uh SB, SBR right <laughs> so mm -hmm. you have all of these um uh, even the guy from we work the same right he was on the list so it is hard obviously to get to to a billionaire status but now that the billionaires are I guess in, uh, passing and passing away and dying they they are passing that uh wealth to their kids and I think that um, if they didn't spend the time with their kids, these kids are going to be like brats, right? Like they don't know what to do with the money and they they might just blow it away. So so it's going to be an interesting uh, new uh, generation, right? And let's call it, I don't think that it's even all money. Some of these people, it was literally just one generation before. Mm -hmm. It's not like they have been like wealthy for generations, right? So... Uh, want to be interesting with all of these uh, new rich, I guess, people that they maybe were not educated properly to what to do with that cash. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. And I, I think a lot of people are categorizing this as a big generational shift. Like, yes, it's that older generation that is now finally passing down this. So we don't see under 30, there aren't like these, there aren't any new like that are self-made billionaires. There are some that are still right over 30. Like we're talking about like the snap co-founder, Evan uh, Spiegel, the gym shark co-founder, uh, Ben Francis and the Oculus guy, Palmer lucky. Um, these guys are still uh, fairly young. They're like 33 and 31. Um, and yes, they are self-made billionaires. So we do see that, but it's just kind of interesting that there aren't any under 30. So it, it's it's very interesting to hear about that. Um, maybe that's going to be the, the new thing is really these new billionaires are going to be uh, just inherited. Maybe there's, there's like this backlash that's incoming because of the SBF and FTX, right? The Theranos. Um, there's a backlash where people are going to be um, as trusting um, with these younger folks that aren't going to allow them to really get to that billionaire status right away or so quickly. So maybe there's this shift that's that's going on uh, that where people are going to be a little bit more skeptical of these folks that are that are still pretty young. Um, and we're, we're not going to see that self-made billionaire under 30 anymore. Yeah, I mean, the one that it comes to my mind is uh, Mr. Beast. Um, it's he, I was just right now checking his 25 years. Mm. Uh, so I think that he obviously has a, a shot. His, uh, the, the thing with him is that he sometimes regularizes all his money into better videos. So, uh, yeah, but I think that that's one that comes to my mind that I can see him in. He could probably years. make it in five years. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, yeah. so that'd be a, that'd be a pretty good story, but maybe it's just, it's going to be fewer and fewer, right? Um, anyways, well, so that's all we've got for the billionaire watch this weekend. I just want to remind you again, don't forget to like subscribe and comment again. We'd love to hear from you. We would like to bring you guys your comments up into our podcast so we can talk about them. Um, and again, a reminder, if you haven't watched our viral Bitcoin all time high meme remix, check it out on our channel. We'll link it there. Um, and we do have a new one coming up fairly soon. We're almost finishing the editing, so you can have another cool uh, Bitcoin remix to listen to um, on Miguel our Miguel Marinero. <laughs> <laughs> Miguel Marinero, right? Michael said that. That's a good one. Uh, well, that's all we've got for today. We'll see you all next time. Dale. Dale.